Hi everybody, today I want to talk about how to replace a thumbnail if you have a studio video in your Canvas page or even a YouTube video. If you upload a video to either Canvas Studio or to YouTube, how can you create a custom thumbnail which is the placeholder for where your video is on the page? Now here's a sample page. I have a header, I have some text, and then I have this video. This is a studio video and I want to be able to replace this thumbnail. Now in this case, I did replace the thumbnail, but pretend like this is a video that you uploaded, it's in studio, and it's probably going to be a random frame from somewhere on your video. So if it's a webcam video, then it's going to be a random frame of your face, and you might have your mouth open, or you might be blinking, who knows what frame it's going to choose. Or if it's a screencast, it might just be some random picture of your computer screen. But you want to really customize these thumbnails. It's just great. In all of your Canvas classes, you want the thumbnails to be purposeful and you want it to be you know, something good to look at. And so we're going to talk about how can you get this custom thumbnail, something that you're proud of. And I'm going to show you two different ways. There's various ways that you can do this, but I'm just going to walk through a couple. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull up PowerPoint and I'm just going to use PowerPoint. PowerPoint is actually how I do my thumbnails for my YouTube videos on this channel. The video that you're watching has a custom thumbnail and I have a template in PowerPoint and I just modify the template and then save it as a, an image. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. So in that previous page, it actually was a custom thumbnail, but this is what we were looking at and I exported this as a picture. And so what you would do is you can grab a slide now the default slide is going to be a 16 by 9 resolution, so 16 across and 9 up and down, and you can change that. If you don't see it widescreen like this, you can go to design and you can go to the slide background, make sure that it's 16, 9. You can also choose a custom slide design, but for any Canvas Studio or YouTube video, you're going to want this 16 by 9 ratio. And so once you have that, you can design your slide. And for my YouTube thumbnails, I tend to go with this similar design just so that I can have some consistency in branding, but you can do whatever you want. So I have an image here. This is all grouped together. I have some lines and I have some text, but let's go ahead and scrap all of this and start from scratch. So if you have a subscription to Office 365, then you have access to these stock images. And that's what I'm gonna do today. If you don't have a subscription, if you don't have access to these stock images, you can find lots of different images on unsplash.com or Pexels or Pixabay. So I'm just going to browse what they have in stock. Now you can search for various things, like you can search for design, geometry. Here I'm going to search for background, and you can even search by color. But the gist is that I want some kind of background texture or image that I like for my thumbnail. And we can play around with it afterwards. In fact, you can select multiple images and try them all out. I'm just going to stick with this one. It's kind of a geometry. And so I'm going to insert that. And now what I'll do, I'm going to ignore the design ideas, although I could have it flush against the screen there. So it just takes up the entire screen, but I'm just going to close that down. And I want this to take up the whole screen. So I'm going to double click on it and click on crop. And I'm just going to extend the crop line. So it goes out to the side and then I'm going to maximize this. So it takes up the entire width of the page. And from there, I can move it around. I can see which portion do I want on there. And suppose that looks good. Um, so I'm going to double click on that. And I have the Format Pictures tab up here. And if you don't have that up, you can right click and you can go to Format Picture. And I'm going to play around with, let's see what Picture Color does. And so I can change the temperature there. I can make it bluish. I can warm it up a little bit. You can also go to the colors in the Picture Format ribbon. And I could try something else, like I, I could add some blues. And then here in the picture format box, I can increase the transparency if I want to make that a little bit washed out because maybe I don't want it too bold. You don't want it completely transparent, but you know, somewhere along the line, you might find what you want. I'll go ahead and keep this at about 34%. And then I'm going to add a text box. So I'll just put that here. What I like to do is extend it all the way out to the sides and then put it in the center. And so control E, is my shortcut for doing that. Then you can type out your text. I'm going to bold that up. Let's get a font that's maybe pretty bold. And then I'll just increase the text so it's the size that I want. So maybe it's something like this and I'll go ahead and center that. Now I don't like the black text on top of the background and so I'm going to change the color of the text. 
I could try something gray, uh, something a little bit off black, or I could even try a complementary color like red, or I could just stick with blue. And even if it's a dark blue, I think that looks a little bit better on my slides. So you can add other elements if you want. You could put a sticker on there. To put a sticker, what Microsoft calls a sticker is I go to stock images, and then they have icons, they have cutout people, they have stickers, videos, and illustrations. One of the stickers here that I like is the panda sticker. And so I can select one of those and insert it on the screen. And again, this is completely optional, but you can go ahead and make this kind of fun. So here's my thumbnail. You can add other elements if you want, but I'm gonna take this as it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and save a copy of this. Instead of saving this as a PowerPoint presentation, what I'm gonna do is save it as an image either a JPEG or a PNG. It doesn't really matter for the thumbnail, which format, but it needs to be one of those picture formats. And you can name it what you want, and then click Save. It's gonna ask you, do you want to export all of the slides as pictures or just this one? And I'm just gonna do this one right here. But it's possible that you could create several thumbnails and export them all at the same time. You just click that other option. So now I have my awesome thumbnail and I want to replace the thumbnail in this image right here. What I'm going to do is open up the studio in either the course or the global navigation. I'm going to find the video where I want to replace the thumbnail. And on this kebab icon right here, I'm just going to click replace thumbnail. It looks like I don't have a preview, but I know that this is the new file that I want. And so I'm going to double click on that. And now I can see a preview that the new thumbnail uploaded. When I go back to this page, I can refresh it and I can see my thumbnail right here. It looks so much better, and I really suggest that you just replace all of the thumbnails in all of your courses with something interesting. You could even just create a brand, similar to how I did with PowerPoint, and then you can replace the background image. I can go like this, and I can change the picture to something else, another stock image, for example, or something from your file. Or if it's something like this where it's geometry, you could even just double click on that, and change the color scheme if you wanted. And the color scheme that I have here is dependent on, in PowerPoint, when you have the design element, whatever colors you have selected for your template. And you can create your own colors if you want. And then just swap it out. So you could duplicate a bunch of these slides and then just swap out the backgrounds and replace the text with something new. And you can create a PowerPoint presentation full of templates for your thumbnails. Another approach that I want to show you is this platform called Canva, which is appropriate for Canvas. Just take out that S at the end and you have a graphic design platform. It's free to sign up. I happen to pay for one of their licenses, so it gives me a few more options, but you can sign up for free and you get plenty to work with. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a design and I'm going to search here for YouTube and I'm going to create a YouTube thumbnail. And so it gives me the proper dimensions and everything all built out. And then I can look at their various examples that they have. If there's something that I like, I can drag that over and start working from there. For example, this one here, this one looks kind of fun. And all of the elements here are customizable. And you know, it's a good concept here, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace this background image and I'm going to search for an element. Let's look for maybe a, a chalkboard. I don't even know if kids or understand what a chalkboard is, but here's a free chalkboard and I can put that in the back. So I'm just gonna move this over here and I'll stretch it that way. And then I happen to have an image of myself in the uploads. And so I'm going to, oops, I only need one of me. And so I'll move this up. Then I can change the position. I'll put that chalkboard in the back and I'll make myself a bit bigger here and empowering. So that could be a thumbnail. We'll go ahead and download that. And I think PNG is just fine. All right, so I'll close that out, head back over to Studio, and then I can replace the thumbnail. I'll have to search where it downloaded, and it looks like that's it. And there's my new thumbnail. When I refresh the page, then I can see it right there. And so again, there's several options, but these are two avenues that you could take, either work through Canva or just work right in PowerPoint, and you can create your own custom thumbnails. And it works well for YouTube as well as Canvas Studio. For more tips and tricks in Canvas, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and also check out our blog posts with the supplementary resources. Happy Digi Nanonin!